Welcome to Arcade PCB Repair 2018 11.1. In this video, we're going to do something kind of fun. We're going to diagnose an Atari Centipede by just looking at the video output. And then we're going to use MAME to try to replicate the issue to validate our diagnosis. And then finally, using a Fluke 9010A to validate the diagnosis in circuit. This should be a fun one using a whole bunch of different techniques. So. Hope you join us. So let's take a look today at this centipede. What we have here is a centipede that plays fine, or boots fine, except, look at that. It's like certain columns are, looks like upside down or reversed, uh, upside down, right? Already that's gonna tell me a lot um, for this game. Notice how it's very specific columns, right? It's not each column, it's every other column. And notice, it doesn't occur at the bottom. Well, if you know a little bit about how centipede video layout is, is what happens is centipede has eight different RAMs in banks of two. Okay, we have these two are a bank, these two are a bank, these two are a bank, and these two are a bank. Each one is four bits. And what happens is one bank at a time controls half of a column on the screen. So this column, the leftmost up to the top or to the half mark is one column. And that's actually these guys. The next half of the column is these guys. Then we go to the one row in to the right up to the half. That's these guys at, um, where are they at? M7 and M5. And then the last one is the last half of the second column is the last two at um, N7 and N5. And notice how it seems that it's just every other column at the top, which means it's one of these guys. And we can actually see that in this case when we put it on test mode. You see how we have H's through three of those banks, one whole side and half the other side? Those are actually the addresses that are right and then it's failing when it tries to test this bank. So that's gonna be one of these guys, okay? And what I think is happening is I think a bit is stuck because a lot of video hardware will have the ability to take a sprite or a tile and flip it either upside down or right or left. Notice like the, the, the text is actually correct. It's H-I-G-H, -H, right? S-C-O-R-E-S. -E so it's the right letter, it's just flipped upside down. That's just a, a, an optimization that the video hardware provides. So I think what's happening is we have a bit stuck. I bet if I put it on the fluke, we will find in that range we actually have a bit stuck. Um, but let's do this. Let's go to MAME and see if we can actually figure out which bit it's going to be. But I'm certain a bit is stuck. Okay, so let's go into MAME. We're in a MAME directory and it's MAME 64 minus debug centiped, m missing the E. And we'll just bring this over here the best we can. We'll start it up hitting F5. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the memory section and we are going to start flipping bits. So let's open up a memory window, a new memory window, and let's go to 0x570 because that's gonna be this line. The actual, well, you know what, let's, let's do this. Let's go back to 430 actually, 0x430 and I can show you. If I start putting, I don't know, let's do tw 21s because that's the value of one. You're gonna see that in the left top column, ones appear, or the second left top column. See? Because uh, 21 is the value for one. So now at 570, and it skips, so the next column will be um, 470. The next column over here, let's put twos there, so it hit 22s. And then let's go skip the next one, which would be, uh, it's going to be four rows away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
four B is zero, it looks right. Is that right? Yeah. Let's go twenty threes. Put threes there. And let's go down another one. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, four F zero. Let's put twenty fours there. Okay. And let's go down another one. One, two, three, four, five, thirty. And let's put twenty fives there. That didn't work right. Let's try that. Twenty fives. 25. Oh, they're getting overwritten because the screen is updating. Okay, and now 570. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the game now. I'm going to hit F7, which will pause. Oops, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, I'm just going to go over here to the options, debug, um, run until next interrupt. Okay. So now I should be able to just, because the screen's not updating. It will update when I add stuff to the memory. But it's not going to, the spiders and things aren't going to destroy things. So 570. You see we have a bunch of 21s here. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's just start flipping bits. It's not going to be the low 4 bits. It's going to be one of the high 4 bits. Just trust me. So let's try making those 21s to 41s. Um, and those, see, now we have upside down A's. Well, that's not what we want. We, let's do 61. That's it. So 61s. They were 21s. We made them 61s. That means that, let's, let's look at 21 in binary. 21 in binary is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that was the 1s, which it should be. But we were seeing 61s, which is the upside down one, which is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it looks like I'm betting this bit right here, which would be bit number 6, because we start counting a 0, is stuck. I bet you once we go to look at that fluke, if I do a uh, RAM check in that range of, let's say, 7... I'm sorry, 570 to 57F, because that's the last address of that column, then we're going to find bit 7 stuck. So let's, let's go see. So here we are. We've got our fluke set up. It's currently running the program. And let's do a RAM test on the RAM ranges. 400 to, let's just say, I don't know, um, 7EF, because I think that's the last right address. It immediately comes back with uh, 430, which is actually the this guy right here. It's immediately coming back with bits CO have issues. Um, CO is bit 6 and 7. You can see actually C has both high bits set. I didn't actually think about that. Um, it's very possible that two bits are bad, and it just happens that gives the same combination, which in fact it does. So let's let's test that theory. Let's just go to something we know. This down here. Let's write that. That's address 400. Let's write a 21 there. Okay, and you can see now, in that lowest position, we have a one. Let's write. Um, okay, so let's just try it. Let's write six one to that position. So we'll do right, because that's the one we decided we thought that bit was stuck. 6-1, if I can do it correctly. And certainly, look at that, it flips. So um, definitely that bit is stuck, and it just happens that apparently the high bit doesn't seem to to matter. So let's, let's write it back to right, 400, 21. We go back to regular one. And now let's write 400 E1, which would actually be not just the second highest bit, um, bit se six, but also bit seven. And we see that also flips it upside down. So in this case, we were right. Um, definitely bit six was stuck, but not only that, bit seven stuck. So both the top two high bits are stuck. All right. 
So I'm going to go ahead, turn this off, remove my probe, and put a new memory in. So we replace that RAM. Look at that. Everything looks good. If you're not already a Patreon supporter, please consider becoming one. Patreon.com slash arcades. Your support helps us make more videos. So appreciate you watching the videos. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up on YouTube.